Hey guys, what's up? Okay, so today I'm going to be talking about, you know, some controversies in Star Wars that happened lately. It is a little late, but, you know, uh, better late than never, I guess. So, okay, first one. Obi-Wan. So, in, so people, uh, this is, I gotta take this one, uh, for caution, but, so, there's a new book about Obi-Wan, uh, called Padawan. And I have not read it. I read the excerpt in question and a lot of people's reviews of it. So, in the book, it implies that Obi-Wan is now bisexual. And some people said he might be asexual as well. So, if he's bi-curious or something like that, I guess that doesn't like go against canon, but... I, well, the thing is, well... People are like, why should you be mad about something like this? And it's not as much like him being bi. That's the problem. It's like the thing is, this dude's been a character for over 45 years. And they're just choosing and picking when they want to change things about him. that have been set in stone for so long. And um, that it shows, it's kind of like breaking the trust and just saying, oh, do they really care? I mean, it's just like. If they made a new character and made him buy it, like, it's just like, okay, whatever, cool. Watch it. If it's, if it's a cool character, people like it. If it's not a cool character, whatever, you know. But when they change stuff like this, it just shows, well, do you really care? Are you just trying to make money and try to appeal to um, certain audiences and stuff? And, um, well, so... Okay, so you might ask, like, why is it, like, already set in stone, right? So he's been a character for 45 years, been in, um, all six of the movies. Uh, he has his own show, been in the Clone Wars as one of the main characters, um, was in Rebels a bit. I mean, yeah, oh, even, like, in his own show made by Disney, like, he isn't, like, it's wildly clear that we would have known by now if, Things like these about him, because I mean, he's been a character for so long, he's been so iconic. It's, it's kind of like what happened with SpongeBob, uh, like how they just waited, they just changed it when they like decided it during like uh, probably month, like a year or two or something. They made SpongeBob gay, and then that's kind of like what's happening now with Obi Wan. Um, uh, oh no, actually no, this was post Pride Month, but still, uh, it's similar idea to make. More money, I guess. The thing is, it's just... Like, we look at, like, the character. And it's just... So, like... Contradicting to everything... He's ever done, though. It's just... It's just I, I don't... It's hard to explain, because... I just, it's lost for words, I guess. Um, like, this dude's, like, flirting with a girl trying to kill him. Like, I doesn't seem too asexual to me, but... Uh, nonetheless, I don't know. It's just kind of shaking, like, trust, I guess. It's just... Like, just make a new character. It's the same thing that happened to Lando, too. Just make a new character or something. It's, like, similar to Obi-Wan. Not, not just copy, but still, like... Dude, don't just change, like, these things. Like, we've already had an idea with this person for like decades it's just I don't know. it's just um you know a little cause I'm still going back and forth with I care about Star Wars and I think maybe some of the people who do like the movies and the comics are like way different cause but yeah, so I feel like the people who make the comics and books are kind of maybe less loyal or uh, care less, I, I guess you could say, about the story. It, that's just my personal thing, because they just don't, a lot of the time in like the books and stuff, they'll go, or comics, they'll go against like the canon and what's already been established, while in the movies, ever since the sequels at least, they've been trying to stick to it. But that's just uh, how I see it. Okay, so on to the second story, Andor. This will be a quick one. But, uh, okay, so a lot of people were mad about Andor being delayed, like, I think almost a month it was, like three weeks or so. It's about to come around to my birthday. So I was kind of excited about that. But, um, 
wasn't super, I've never been super excited for it, so it's not like a huge bummer, but I feel like they probably had a good reason. Like Kenobi, I'm not sure why they delayed that, but it was likely maybe the Grand Inquisitor. Maybe they realized, hey, there's something wrong and we gotta delay it another month. And if it's gonna make the show marginally better, then sure, I don't, it's not a big problem. And I mean, we're gonna be getting like three shows at the same time anyways, so it's not a big deal. I just feel like um, they probably had a good reason for this. I mean, I can't, you know, prove it, but, you know, like, it's just, come on, like, they're not going to just delay a show to make fans mad. It's just not something they're going to do. Um, I don't know, I feel like they should probably make less shows. I I can make another video about that on its own, but, uh, I don't know. They should maybe try to explain themselves next time instead of just letting the fans get angry at them, because, I mean, then you're, like, looking like the bad guy. People are always going to make Disney out to be the bad guy, and it's just something that's always going to happen. In Star Wars, whenever there's bad stuff, Disney will be blamed. I, I can explain that in another video, but I, I just feel like, why put a target on your back when you can just explain, hey, we need to edit this so you can get a better production, and rather than say, oh, no, you have to wait a month. Uh, here's three more episodes so you guys can uh, shut up. Like, okay, I get it. It's like more for later, but it's still, I don't know. Not a good relationship Disney's building with their fans, and uh, that might backfire. I feel like they should just space it out more. Like, TV shows usually don't have, like, one thing a week. Like, you know, the best shows I remember watching, like, they never, like, aired once a week. They probably aired, like, two times a month, maybe, at, like, their peak. And it's just, Disney's, like, I don't know. I just feel like Disney just doesn't know what to do with Star Wars, and um, I don't think I'm going to make a video about Disney overall, like everything they've done, because I feel like people just look at just the sequels and say, oh my god, they ruined Star Wars, and then they just don't think about the good things, but um, I don't know, so I'll make that, and it'll probably be like a really long ass video, and then it's going to be, I'll try to play devil's advocate, because I feel like a lot of people are just kind of looking at this one-sided, and just putting them as, as the bad guy. Okay, so anyways, on to the other news. Sorry for going on a little rant there, but... Okay, so, in Acolyte, there seems to be... Uh, there were rumors about... Um, a, I think it was a rich person, a rich man, who had influence in the games, and Acolyte's supposed to be a competition. And this rich person's not supposed to be a fighter, and they're supposed to be giving advice to the main character who's competing in the fighting games or something. It's going to be like a Star Wars Hunger Games or something. I don't know. That's just based off of the rumors. It's still kind of unclear to me. So, I think this rich person might be Darth Plagueis. He doesn't seem to be much of a fighter. He's like a tall, thin, like, deformed moon. So, and moons are not known for fighting whatsoever. And even Plagueis, among Sith, I don't even think he was super great of a fighter. He was, like, really wise and, like, powerful before. But, I mean, I don't think he would have been the best fighter compared to, you know, someone like, well, I mean, he'd probably be, yeah, he'd beat him in a fight, but it's just still, yeah, him being, like, old and crippled, I mean, I'm going based on the book, I just started reading the book, so, it would make sense that it would be Plagueis, possibly Tenebris, but, uh, I think Tenebris wasn't as, like, influential as Plagueis was, and Plagueis was pretty influential in the Moon Banks, so, uh, so he'd have much more freedom in what he could do because he's more power and influence and kind of just like Palpatine. Like he was able to do a lot more in the, behind the shadows and stuff. And he could just, he was already like destroying the Republic before, you know, he actually became the Emperor and nobody was stopping him. Because I mean, once you have that much influence, it's almost impossible to stop you. But Plagueis was uh, kind of similar in that aspect, but on a smaller scale. So, yeah, he's a pretty cool character. I'm, fin I'm gonna, after I finish the book, or maybe before I finish the book, I'm not sure, I'm gonna make a What If Plague Survived video, which I think will be pretty interesting. But, uh, anyways, so yeah, I don't know, it'll be cool, it'd be really cool to see Plague as, as uh, um, in canon, like, actually see him, because in the book, it's not canon anymore, and a lot of people like it. It's a really popular book, so it's a good read. It starts off a little boring, in my opinion, like the first few pages, and then once you get further, it's better and better. But, uh, yeah, so I feel like people would be pretty critical of him, so it's, and you know, it's already happened with Disney.
So I don't know if they'd want to do that too much. I feel like it'd be the same if they made the old Republican in, because, like, I mean, a Sith cannot have... Uh, actually, uh, I don't know, I can explain that in a different video, because that's a whole-ass different topic, and that's Disney and Lucas from, like, two separate... It's a whole shipping, but, uh, so... Anyways, I'm gonna... My What If Qui-Gon video that I was talking about before on this channel, I've been really looking really forward to that, because I feel like a lot of other YouTubers have done that, and I feel like a lot of... They've all, in my personal opinion, I feel like they all kind of got it wrong in some way, or some aspect. And I'm not saying like I'm better, but I feel like I should share my view because I feel like everybody somewhat missed a point or something. And, uh, yeah, so I was gonna post this for my one year anniversary of the channel on July 28th, but you know, there was the little, you know, no way to post incident, so I'll probably try to post that. On August 28th, a month later, day before my birthday, I'm not sure if I'll be able to get it, but it's it'll it'll probably be like a four or five part thing, and I think I'm gonna make another video explaining why some people's conceptions of that idea are a little wrong, and uh, yeah, so I'll be making more videos, and uh, stay tuned.